Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a lifestyle mom and we are here with another video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We are almost to a thousand subscribers. We're trying to make it there this year by the end of this year. So hit that subscribe button doesn't cost you guys a thing it literally is just so easy so make sure you guys do that right now i'll give you guys some time this video is going to be pretty interesting um i've kind of mentioned this a few times on my channel but i kind of want to get more in debt debt in depth in depth with everything that i want to say as you can tell by the title i want to own a home this year eventually so we're gonna try to make that happen for like years i've always dreamed of just having my own place because it'll be way easier um my sister she got lucky she bought a house like right out of high school and she lived in it for like a long time she bought it really cheap and she didn't like and you know like as a house i'm like she bought a trailer and it is it was like it fit and then she upgraded and bought another one so it's it's beautiful now it's livable and it's something that like i definitely want to do she got super lucky with everything i never was that lucky i guess i just was worried about other things not getting my home and i wasn't really financially stable at the time like i did not have the means to be saving any money i didn't even save money at all you know, so I just never, I didn't even have enough, enough consistent work. Like I wasn't working consistently all the time. I was working, but not like consistently at the same place. I was always jumping from job to job. So it just never really worked out for me. I would go from job to job, place to place, car to car, literally just so unstable. So when COVID hit, I knew that like this was my opportunity to actually change my life around and I found out that I was pregnant with Carter so I was like okay it's like either now or never. Uh, like everybody started getting that unemployment and so I started saving it. That's what I decided to do with my unemployment. I was getting a lot of it stolen from me but I, I eventually got it all back. I saved everything that I could. And I started becoming more financially stable because I think that, like, I just started liking the fact that I was, I had money and I could do things if I was in an emergency. Plus, I didn't have, I didn't have a car going into COVID. Like, I didn't have anything. I didn't have a place. I was living <clears throat> with my mom's friend when COVID started. So I had no money, no job. I moved two hours away. I quit my job that I was at to move. So it was like I started completely over. I also had like help financially from like DHS. They helped me. I had to take a bunch of classes and they helped me get a job and everything. So I felt grateful for that. But that's like kind of what started. I got a job. I started saving money. I saved up slowly. I, start, I saved up $500 and I bought a car finally after like two years of like not having a car I finally bought one and let me tell you I've had a car since I was 18 and to not have a car when you're like in your 20s and you got a child it was rough so I never had not had a car before so I, I bought a car for $500 and I continued to start saving more money after that I saved up like I went from like $500 and then I saved up to like $1,000. Then I started saving up like $3,000 and things like that. And I started, it started becoming easier for me to do it as I was doing it. Like as I was putting money away, it became easier to save more and more. So a year later, maybe 2021, <clears throat> I was living at my grandpa's house and I I saved up enough money. I saved up $6,000. I saved up enough money and put all of it down on the Jeep that I have today because I was thinking like, this is it. Like I went through car after car after car after car after car ever since I bought my first one. So I was like, I'm getting something reliable, something that's going to last me 
some years and I did what I could and I bought my very first vehicle. I My credit was like a 517. I still remember 517. I had just gotten like a little credit builder card and I started building my credit just a little bit, built it up enough to 517 to go in. I was like, listen, this is all I got. I got six grand to put it down on this car. And I worked out my payments to where I could pay it. Like I pay my payments. I've had my car for 21, three years now. I've had it three years. Like as of this month, I've had my car. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, ever since I put that six grand down though on my Jeep, because I saved all that money from like all the COVID payments that we were getting and stuff like that and like unemployment. And I just kept saving. I just kept putting them all in my savings account because I was making so much money that I didn't need to spend it all. And plus I was working like I'd like clean houses or like do side work or things like that. So like I would, you know, end up babysitting anything, you know. So I became obsessed with the fact that I was saving money. I, I became obsessed with saving and I became like aware of different strategies on how to save and I found different strategies that worked for me because you know other people can save like a lot more than people than others and there's different strategies out there for people that can save a lot more and there's like you know lower saving strategies for people that have low income and stuff like that so I literally was doing my research on everything I found the 100 envelope challenge. That's, that literally helped me so much. I still do it to this day. I've never completed it, but I still put money in it just to like put money in it. And then I'll forget about it and there'll be money in there. But from like 2020 till now, it's 2024 now, I've became more financially stable, way more financially stable than I've ever been in my whole entire life. I would have to say... Um, Plus, I've been blessed with this opportunity of living where I live for the last year. It's been a year now, just over a year actually, like a year and a month that I've been here. So I couldn't be more grateful because this place has given me the opportunity to save up more than I ever possibly could have imagined. Um, but I also have been saving money for like four years now. Ever since COVID hit, I started saving money. I started saving a big chunk in, in 2020 and then I put it on my car and then I started saving more and more and more and more. So like I just keep adding to my savings account. I'm gonna use that money to hopefully um, get like apply for a loan. Hopefully I can get approved for things like that. But I become more financially stable. I, if I can work at this job for like another few more months, like seven, eight more months, I'll almost have two years under like two years work history just from one place. And then previously I was working at like a nursing home and I worked there for like almost a year. So I got the work history and then I, I'm hopefully going to build my credit. Hopefully my credit gets up there. It's not bad, but like it could be way better. It's not in the 700s and it definitely could be. So I'm going to try to build my credit as much as I can. And also another up for me, I guess, is that me and my boyfriend ended up taking this homeowner class. It's like a webinar and you can go on it. You can go on the website. It's like michigan.gov. It's all over there. You guys can apply for it. You can request for it. But it's a six hour class. And after you complete the six hour class, you get like a certi certificate of completion. And then once you're done with that, when you're ready to like buy a home or ready to like purchase or get a home loan or anything, you can take that and that is used as one of the requirements to get the DP, DPA 10K loan, the down payment assistance loan in Michigan. One of the requirements is that class. So I already have it down. I already have it. 
and it's good for my certification is good for 12 months and I'll be looking for less than that plus after the 12 months if I don't find something I can take that class again and get recertified so it's really cool I have that under my belt that will really help me plus like me and my boyfriend both took it so that gives us both an opportunity to get ten thousand dollars for a down payment assistance for a place another good thing too is that i am native and you know i'm looking on all of the michigan websites all of the programs that i can possibly think of like because you know there's first time home buyer programs and everything so i'm looking at all my options that i have and I come across, which I never realized, but I come across this Native American home loan that's for Native Americans when they're trying to purchase a home. So I am going to look into that. That's probably what I'm going to look into as one of my loans that I choose for a home loan. It's really good, like, requirements and qualifications, like, really good, um, I don't know... I, I don't know what to say a really good quote like a, you got a really good uh, premium and stuff like that you got a really good payment really good down payment really good percentage like everything about it is helps it helps for Native Americans get into homes for a lot cheaper I guess so they're not paying a fortune home buying is really expensive right now and I ain't got no money like that but I'm telling you, I'm just trying to build my credit and get a little bit of money under my belt. Like I said, my goal is $20,000 and just that'll get me somewhere. That'll get me somewhere. And then I got this class that will help me. It's a requirement for that down payment assistance that gives me $10,000 for a place. And then if Matt also gets it. That's $20,000 for a home. On top of the money that I'll have, like, I'll be able to do so much. There will be so much that I can do. So, I'm really praying that this is my year. Stay tuned because I'm going to vlog all of this with you guys. My whole home buying process. I'm buying a home. Whether it's me getting, like, a mortgage and getting a home loan or whether I'm just buying like a little fixer upper for right now and kind of like fix, fixing it, selling it and work my work my way up. But I'm going to buy a home and I'm going to vlog it and I'm going to share the whole process with you guys. So if you guys like to see stuff like that, please subscribe to my channel. We are going to be monetized this year i have a feeling we're going to be monetized this year because i am gaining subscribers like crazy we are almost to 1000 subscribers so make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button if you guys are watching my videos all the time you guys might as well subscribe and i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog thanks bye